Uh, very good afternoon. I have come to teach Standard 1 English Literature poem and the name of the poem is Ducks on the Water. So, this poem is a part of Unit 1 in your English Fairy Book. So, if you look at the contents, you would see every chapter has a story and a poem. So, this poem that I am going to explain is a part of chapter number one, which we have already completed. So let's begin the poem. Ducks on the water, quack, 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 sailing down the river and then sailing back. So out here in the first stanza, the poem, uh, the, the poet is uh, telling or getting the, uh, the, the readers to understand that out here we are talking about not just one duck but we are talking about a number of ducks. The second thing that we need to uh, uh, understand in this stanza is that the ducks they are making a sound and the sound that they make is the sound which is which is quack. So quack is the sound of a duck. So quack is the sound of a duck. And what are they doing? They are swimming uh, forward, that is in the river they are going ahead and then again they are coming back. So they are just enjoying themselves in the river. Mother ducks lead ducklings behind trim little swimmers in a long straight line. So in this stanza, uh, again the poet is uh, making us understand what is actually going on. The ducks, they are in the river and in the starting meaning, uh, the, the one who is leading the ducks is the mother duck. So she is right in the front and behind her, she, her five children. Out of the uh, river into the nest, Time for the family to have a rest. So out here, after they swim whole way in the river, they come out and they go into their nest. Now nest is their house. Meaning where they stay. So the, the ducks, they stay in a nest. So they go to the nest because it is time for the family to have a rest. To have a rest meaning to take rest. Because they've done a lot of work, they've done a lot of swimming in the river. So due to that, when they come back home, they take rest. Under her wings, mother duck, mother duck tucks two little drakes and three little ducks. So where does the duckling sleep? The duckling sleep under the wings of the mother. Now what do we understand by wings? Wings is the portion of, of a bird like a duck which helps to, uh, for other birds it is used for flying but for a duck it is used to cover her children. So in total she has five children, two of them are uh, drakes. Now when I say drakes, I mean male duck. So drakes, they are male, male ducks and ducks they are female. So in total there are five children, two of them are male and three of them are females. So I do hope that you have understood this poem. Now what I would want you all to do is that this poem which is page number 12 and page number 13, you have to write the entire poem in your English, uh, uh, your English course copy you have to write the entire poem in the English course copy as well as you have to learn the poem. So two things you have to do. One, you have to write the poem onto your copy and the second thing that you need to do is you have to learn. Learn the poem that is from the first line right up till the last line. In total there are 60 lines. So you, you get this done into your copy and after that you learn it. I do hope that you have understood this, uh, this poem. I will be back with chapter number 2 which is called Sharing is Caring. So thank you for your time. Have a good day.